Thank you for tuning in. I'm Jason, the Bearded EV Guy, and there's headlines from BMW, Ford, Canoe, and Tesla today. Before we start, if you're interested in the app tariff, please consider using my referral link to get 30% off your pre-order fee. Now to the headlines. A BMW supplier is building a battery factory in South Carolina. Envision AESC has announced an $810 million investment to build a large-scale battery cell production facility in Northeast South Carolina to support its multi-year partnership with the BMW Group. The facility will be situated near the interstate and will encompass an estimated 1.5 million feet. The batteries will improve charging speed and range up to 30%, reduce CO2 emissions up to 60%, and create high-impact economic development for the state. The state is providing up to $135 million in closing fund grants and $70 million in general economic development bonds to offset the cost of the facility and a training center. Being born and raised in South Carolina, I am so excited to see continued development come to the state. This factory will join several others in the Southeast, bringing a strong foundation for the next generation of vehicles. A majority of Ford dealerships agree to EV mandates. Ford Motor Company has faced litigation from U.S. dealers over its electric vehicle certification program, but nearly two-thirds of its retail network has agreed to the plans, with some dealers finding that costs could be lower than advertised. Ford CEO Jim Farley said 1,659 of 1,920 dealers chose the certified elite track, which requires investing up to $1.2 million, while 261 chose the certified status, which requires up to a $500,000 investment. Dealers in New York, Illinois, and Connecticut have voiced displeasure over what they say are excessive costs that potentially violate state franchise laws, but Ford has maintained that the program does not violate these laws. I think Ford and other traditional car manufacturers have an uphill battle ahead of them. Many dealers and gas enthusiasts are resisting the transition to EVs, so I am glad to hear that when push comes to shove, many are getting on board with the program. Continuing the Ford news, the Ford Bronco and Ranger EVs to start production by the end of the decade. The new Ford Bronco is one of the most anticipated vehicle releases in decades, and analysts are already looking ahead to the second generation. Production of the next-generation Bronco is planned to start on November 1, 2029 in Michigan and Tennessee, while the electric Ranger will begin production August 1, 2029. This news is exciting for off-road enthusiasts, as electric motors provide instant torque, although none of these vehicles will be available for several years. I'm excited to see more and more auto segments transitioning to electric. The timelines are so long, but industry-shaking transitions take time. Lastly for Ford, some unfortunate news for truck enthusiasts. The 2023 Ford F-150 Lightning orders have already stopped. Ford has stopped taking orders for the 2023 F-150 Lightning due to its high demand. This could make it difficult for electric vehicle shoppers to get a deal on the popular model. The 2022 Ford Lightning trim sold out in early April, and orders were stopped that same month. This could mean that buyers will have to purchase a Lightning from a dealer with a potential markup. Demand is high for all EVs, and supply is low, so I can't blame dealers for marking up prices. I wish they would keep themselves in check, however, as some of the markups have been insane. Electric named Chevy Bolt Vehicle of the Year The Chevy Bolt EV and EUV are the electric vehicles of the year for 2022 due to their incredible value. The Bolt EV has a starting price of $25,600 and the EUV is only $1,600 more. Both offer many features, including wireless CarPlay and Android Auto, great range, and a low floor entry point. The Bold EV has more cargo space, faster acceleration, and better efficiency, while the EUV offers an attractive CUV profile and super cruise. Chevy also offers bonus charging options and up to $1,000 for home charging installation. The Bold EV's low price and range make it an attractive option, and its size and safety features make it an ideal choice for city driving. I love the new styling on the Bolt and the world needs more cheap EVs. Canoe joins the U.S. Army. Canoe has recently delivered its light tactical vehicle, or LTV to the U.S. Army for testing. The cute yet tough mini pickup is composed of carbon Kevlar and has been designed for all-terrain performance with a 600-horsepower engine, air springs, a raised suspension, 32 inches tires, and all-wheel drive. It features an expanding 8-foot bed and foldable table, as well as modular attachment points for additional items. Other government agencies and corporations, including NASA and Walmart, have also tested Canoe EVs. I'm definitely a fan of Canoe, and these corporate and government deals are exciting to see. Honda quietly secures enough battery capacity to build 1 million EVs. Honda has partnered with Sia TL to secure 123 gigawatt hours of batteries to power 1 million electric vehicles in China. Honda introduced their end series of electric vehicles in China this April, and plans to release 10 EVs by 2027. 
The partnership with CATL will be critical for Honda to scale their EV production in the Chinese market and reach their goal of selling 800,000 EVs in China by 2030. Honda also hopes to export their models from China. I think Honda has set themselves up for a world of hurt by delaying their entry into the electric market. I'm glad for them to have this partnership set up, and I wish them all the best in their uphill struggle. A new Tesla Cybertruck body photo leaked by Kim Java. A Tesla Cybertruck body has been spotted being worked on ahead of the electric pickup truck's upcoming start of production in Texas. Tesla unveiled the Cybertruck back in 2019 and said it would make it to market by the end of 2021, but production has slipped to 2022 and is now targeting mid-2023. In March 2022, Tesla completed development for a 2023 production, and the image of what appears to be a Tesla Cybertruck body has now leaked. The body features large casting parts in the back, with Tesla using both aluminum casted parts and steel for parts of the frame. Tesla has described the exterior shell of the Cybertruck as being nearly impenetrable and made for ultimate durability and passenger protection. I'm hoping to get a Cybertruck fairly soon after it comes out, so any evidence of its development is exciting. Looking forward to it. That's all for today. As always, if you're interested in a fast, up to 1,000 mile range, solar charging EV, check out the app Terror. Use my referral link at www.thebeardedevguy.com slash app Terror to get 30% off your pre-order fee. Thanks for watching and have a wonderful day.